What's up boys, hope you get great so far, and let's start with today's video. In today's video, we're going over how to be more consistent in Rainbow Six Siege. Consistency is the key in Rainbow Six Siege, especially if you're a ranked player. Without that consistency, you're not going to be able to perform and get the ranks that you really want. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a few ways you guys can be more consistent, hit more of your shots, and just be overall a better performer in your ranked matches. Let's get right into it. Starting with tip number one, we have playing at least once a day. So when you don't play for a long period of time, or even just for a few days, it's extremely hard for you to come back and be the same level at which you were. When you take a break from something, your muscle memory isn't the same. It's very similar to working out. So when you're working out and you stop working out for like a week or two, your muscles actually lose mass. So this is the same exact format in video games. If you don't play for a while, your brain and your muscle memory that you have, it loses its, it loses its connection. So it's hard for you to be more consistent when you don't play for those long periods of time. I'm not saying you have to have like, play like six ranked matches every single day. That's a lot. Instead, just play like five, 10, even 15 minutes in just a terror sun, just moving your joystick around a little bit or your, your mouse if you're on PC. Just getting that muscle memory and the connection between your brain and your hand will keep you more consistent when you come back to actually play. Moving on to tip number two, we have changing your mindset. The most annoying thing in Rainbow Six Siege is when you have a negative mindset. Because when you have a negative outlook on whatever game you're playing, even if you're down 0-3, if you have a negative outlook, your chances of winning are extremely low. I was down 0-3 once on Canal, and I was just so negative, and we lost. I shit you not, the next game I got down 0-3 again, and I told myself to be positive, so I was positive. We came back and won. I'm not saying this will happen every time, I'm not saying your positive mindset will make you win every game, but a positive mindset and thinking optimistically about the game you're playing will give you much better chances of winning that game no matter how far down you are or how far up you are even if you're up 3-0 you can still be toxic and get negative so always keep that optimistic mindset when you're playing if you guys need more help with that i will be making a video on that in the future moving on to tip number three we have stop changing your sins i don't know what it is but most people change their sins like four or five times and i don't understand why now with new and up becoming YouTubers, many of them are posting the same types of videos. Best champion settings and sensitivities, right? Well, if you use Bolos or some other popular YouTuber or pro player sensitivity, it may not be good for you because sensitivity is purely preference. If you're playing with Bolo sensitivity, you're not going to play like Bolo. That's his preference. That's what he prefers to use. If you play with my sensitivity, you're not going to play like me. I use 56 ADS. That's considered fucking retarded. But for me, it works. And for other people, it may not. It's purely your preference. So when it comes to sensitivity, stop looking at what other people do and instead figure out on your own. And if you need help with that, click on the video in the top right corner. That will help you find your sensitivity. Moving on to tip number four, we have warming up. I have said this probably 20 times on my channel. I'm not kidding. Warming up is the most consistent way to improve. There's nothing else like it. You're constantly running around shooting multiple enemies in the head. You can shoot up to 500 enemies within 30 minutes. If you go quick enough, it's really all about just the repetition. That's why warming up is so important. That repetitive cycle of just going for headshots and constantly moving your aim and just constant over and over and over, that gets the muscle memory and your aim better and it improves it. Even if you didn't play ranked for a whole week and you just only warmed up, your aim would still be the same in your ranked matches. You guys need to make sure you're warming up and if you're not, start doing it. Moving on to number five, we have select your role. So this is something that's a very big gray area for most people, but there are roles in Rainbow Six Siege. They don't specifically say it, but there are. There's support, fragger, and flex. Three roles on both sides. They may have different details, such as the support on attack is hard breach, the support on defense is an anchor. There's all little subtitles and stuff like that, but the main thing is knowing what you are. If you're a support player, play support. Don't go playing Ash if you can't aim. Now, if you're a fragger, don't go play hard breach. You need to figure out what your role is. If you need help with that, once again, there's a video in the description for you to help you find your role. But the thing about finding your role that's so important is because when you know your role and you play those operators according to your role, you perform much more consistently because you're using those operators constantly. You're not maining one operator, but you're playing multiple, such as like, I like to play Mute, Thermite, Ace. I'm, I'm kind of a support slash flex player. So I constantly am playing those operators and that keeps me consistent with their guns and with how I can use them. That is the number one way you guys can be consistent in your right matches. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below any of the videos you've seen in the future. And make sure you guys join the Discord. The link is in the description down below. 
and make sure you guys watch those coaching videos that are coming out because you never know if you do want to be coached make sure you join discord and submit your clip to the coaching clips channel or email me at alarmingplays at gmail.com i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you boys in the next one peace out